Steve gave me the shield, and I love Steve. But what the fuck am I gonna do with the shield? I got these wings. I don't I don't need this bullshit. Welcome to Dig Do Review. This is my reaction to Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus episode one. God damn, we are beating the Falcon's ass. The only problem is that the lightning in here is too bad. Good thing we got these wingsuits so we can jump out and get good exposure. And it's not like uh, the motherfucker can follow us, can he? Huh, I'ma shoot him, even though he got those wings, but fuck him. So long, sucker. I'm out of here and- oh shit. Oh no, why he got- no, nigga, no, 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 no. Hell yeah, Falcon about to bring all y'all to justice right now, because he's an Avenger, he a hero or he'll execute you. That's another thing. You shouldn't have chose this life, dude. And then, what? Oh, he about to head into Libya. That doesn't have a government, but he could get enslaved, shit. These are the guys you gotta worry about. I've been stumbling onto their manifestos on message boards. They call themselves the Flag Smashers. Was that a new thing? Bad guys give themselves bad names? Said Captain America's boy, who is not called the Eagle. Was that taken on Twitter? Basically, they think that the world is better during the blip. Trust me, it, it wasn't. Trust me, every time something gets better for one group, it gets worse for another. That sounds kind of creepy for a hero to say, but he probably right. I mean, just ask uh, Ben Affleck and Henry Cadville and all the rest of the Justice League. Man, Sam, how are you going to give up the shield? Cap gave it to you. You don't have the super steroids, but, but, but you're still an all right dude, though. Look, look at Rhodey. Rhodey, an American soldier. Give him the shield. You could tape it to the front of War Machine. Shit. Hello, my name is Bucky, and I'm a murderholic. I promise to do the three steps of murderholism. I have horrible nightmares that prevent me from acting in this scene. Had to comb my hair for Bucky's big day. Shit, he's plagued by horrible memories, and he's about to play Battleship with a Japanese girl. Guess he didn't fight in the Pacific. Stop cock blocking me, cat robot! For our first look at the Flag Smashers, those bastards that steal from rich people to give to poor refugees. Damn, I guess self-righteousness can be turned to super strength. Hey, sidekick, I know that you're new, but don't close if you're super strong. Don't- Oh, shit! Oh, no. Nah. And he just took a- Oh, don't look- Oh, damn. Oh. oh, cool, you're Falcon? I thought you were just another high-risk Negro couple. Thanks for turning to dust in Wakanda for us, but when Thanos snapped, he snapped away your credit, too. 678, 127. Uh, I've been gone. Unless you have the collateral Infinity Stone, I'm calling the cops. It's about two billion people all over the world that looks like us, but their lives are a lot harder. Join me in welcoming your new Captain America. Damn, Sam, if you was Captain America, like, you would have had that fat government check, and you could have sold the shield and gotten, like, 30,000 shrimp boats, a whole fleet of them and shit. Now Super Soldier ears and jaw about to fuck your Lady Liberty. So the first episode, it did have some good action, but the story kind of like is that whole mystery box thing. There's so many questions, like, what's this new Captain America like? Why did Sam not take up the mantle himself? I mean, he's a hero. Is Bucky gonna keep on half to jack off like right-handed because Vibranium gives him a rash? 